So another point gained in the promotion battle and because of Aston Villa losing it's a point further away from third place and a point closer to promotion. However I think probably in the balance of everything two points dropped uh, today with the red card halfway through the second half and then equalising so quickly after that we failed to create any real chances at that point. But I don't want to be too critical today because I thought as a whole Wolves played quite well. Uh, really good, skillful play from Cavalier and Costa. So the first half today was fairly uneventful. A few half chances for Wolves, a few half chances for Preston. Long range efforts from Preston that didn't really threaten. A couple of balls into the box that really dealt with perfectly capably. And then Costa had the best chance of the half, breaking through the Preston defence and then blazing it over the bar where he could have done better. Start the second half then. Preston came out really, really well and looked frightening. They just looked that like they were going to take the game to us. And I think when that's happened, we've seen now against QPR in the last weekend and then Preston again today, when the game gets taken to us, we do sort of panic a little bit and struggle a little bit. And they had a shot which either hit the post or John Ruddy saved. I haven't seen the highlight, but they threatened and then they won a corner soon after that, which they swung in. Uh, quite, I think probably lax defending really and then a the header from the back post to, to put Preston 1-0 up. Disappointing because we'd seen at the beginning of the season that defending set pieces was a problem. They seem to have dealt with that quite well over the last couple of months. They haven't really conceded goals from uh, set pieces so that has, seems to have been dealt with. Raising its head again today. Then uh, their player uh, picking up their second yellow card now, reportedly, I haven't seen the replay again, but coming home, my dad informing me that uh, Cavaliero appeared to dive to win uh, the free kick and then therefore get their player sent off. Uh, from the angle that the referee was looking at, though, it's, it, I can understand why he gave it as a red card. But then Wolves took advantage of that and equalised fairly quickly after that with a bundled effort from Costa. Not pretty... But that's two goals in two games for him now, so hopefully he's starting to build a little bit of confidence and and can be that sort of catalyst for the rest of the season to, to almost like a new sign-in, having a fully confident Costa back would be really, really useful. Um, a couple of odd substitutions today, I thought, then, at 1-1. I think that Nuno was going to take off Costa at this point for a phobe, but because Costa scored, I think he left him on and then changed it for Ndai coming off. But knowing Nuno, as we have done over the last couple of months, I don't think that's something that Nuno would do, is change a substitution that quickly. I still think they're finding a way of trying to fit a phobie into the team, and I don't think that he is actually fitting into the team. I think some of his attitude, the way that he, you know, throws his arms about when things don't go his way, is clashing a little bit, perhaps, with the rest of the squad. And he had half a, he had a half chance of Fobi, uh, but it did seem when a phobie came on that we lost our shape a little bit because Jota had to slot him behind a phobie and we it's, it didn't work for me Wolves are trying to shoehorn a phobie into the system rather than we've signed a player to fit the system I don't know there's a little bit of, of me that doesn't see him fitting into this team with his attitude or with uh, the way that he plays I don't think you know, with Bonatini's the sort of like pivot, the ball comes to him and he uses it to bring in other players. A phobie's very much playing on the last, sh the shoulder of the last man, trying to burst through, which we don't tend to do. You know, we saw when he was here last time, Kevin McDonald managing to find through balls and find a phobie, but we don't really play like that. Wolves failed to capitalise on the extra man that they had for the majority of the second half then. And Preston were very, very happy with the point. The way that they were celebrating at the end, you would have thought they'd have won the game. They were playing like six at the back at some points during the game as well. They had three centre-backs and then they had the extra man from the midfield dropping back as well. And it was almost like rugby, the way that they were playing. They were winning the ball back and just hoofing it into the corner of, the, of our half and waiting for us to come back. It was wave after wave, but we didn't test the goalkeeper enough. And that's been a, a problem that we've had all season, that we can't challenge and test defences, I don't think, uh, hard enough. We should be battering teams like this with the players that we've got and the skills that we've got. 
But all of that being said, I think today was a good point. I think that if you'd have offered a point at the beginning of the game against an informed Preston team, I'd have taken it. Particularly at half time and just after half time, I'd have definitely taken a point. And then with Aston Villa losing, we've gained a point on them. And, you know, we push on now with 15 games left, or uh, sorry, 14 games left. Uh, and hopefully they're not going to make up that gap of 13 points in 14 games. It'd be a massive, massive turnaround for that to happen. And we just push on now to Norwich on Wednesday night and hope that we pick up three points there. Let me know your thoughts on today's game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you look out for lots of videos this week because it's half term. Hooray. Bye-bye.